Let's go straight to our next game. Gilbert, Port Adelaide taking on 3-0. Port Adelaide Oval, a big game this one. Oh, what a, what a couple of handy acquisitions. Carlisle, good to see him there. Harlan in there. The Sandover medalist. Mitchell's in there. Out of the side, Stuart Newton. Jonas for the Fremantle Dockers. Good to see Silvani in there. We had Brad Hill last week. Well, Stephen Hill's back for the Dockers this week. McFarlane's out with a quaddy. Dawson's out with an angle. So a couple of losses for the Dockers. This Adelaide Oval Saturday. Have you been to Adelaide Oval yet? I haven't been there yet. No. Uh, not, to, not to watch no. a game this year, I'm no. I'm looking forward to the game over there because mm. uh, they just say the atmosphere around Wait, that place. It's a sellout. Have you been there? 50, no, but I, 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 I can't wait to go there. I'm going to go because it's like a Coliseum, they yeah. reckon. That's what they say. So. <laughs> no, they reckon. That's what they said. Duck, let's talk about Port Adelaide. Have you been surprised by the rapid improvement in the last two years? Because before Ken Hinckley took them on, they were yeah. salad dwellers. Now they're on top, equal top of the ladder. Well, uh, I think everyone was surprised last year with what they did and uh, equally a surprise this year. I mean, they've Back just got up. better and better. I mean, Wingard, Gray and Monfries, I think, are the three best small forwards in the game and they're all in, in one forward line and you add Schultz to that and Westhoff. I mean, that's an unbelievable uh, forward line. They're a brilliant side. They're led uh, brilliantly by their captain, who's only been in the job for a very short time also in Boak. I mean, he's in career best form. This is a young, talented, exciting football team. Dipper, we know that Fremantle aren't a very big scoring team, but last week, Zach, Daw uh, Zach Clark actually kicked a few, went up forward, and they need to find somebody like him. Yeah, I mean, Pat Bridge has been obviously the, the focus for yeah. many, many years, and superstar player. I mean, I think he's averaged just five goals, but... Zach Clark is a, is a, a, a true athlete. Look at him. Look at the size of him. And watch this. He gets the ball, hangs out. He goes, you know, what a little shot. He's bang. And that gives you a lot of confidence too because obviously uh, you know the way the free, I like to work the ball in from the back and that. But look, he's going to be a... a well, he's been there for a little while now. It's time for him to stand up too. It looks like that guy of the Bruce Lee movie in the car. Yeah, <laughs> Fist of Fury. Yeah, yeah that guy, yeah. Why not you with that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you moved him to yeah, come yeah, yeah, over the yeah, island? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Abdul Jabbar. <laughs> yeah, that's him. He was yeah. a basketballer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Phil, now Port, Port Adelaide, a lot of people are saying top four. Can they make top four? Brother Boy, I reckon they're just about close to the top two. You reckon they'll yeah, be top two this almost, year? Almost, almost. Kelly, uh, and Phil, what do you think about Pollock? He's been a fantastic yeah. recruit. And then you also got White uh, from Richmond. They've added pace and poise to that side. They've given a bit of class. Two really good pickups. Two great pickups, brother. Yeah. Uh, you know, like Pollock, yeah. he's, he's very silky dipper. Yeah, he, he, like he covers it on the side. Oh, what a runner. When he gets the boys yeah. exciting, he runs down the yeah. lines. He's, he's the outside. outside. He's a left footer, Phil. Yeah. And, and you'd appreciate uh, this. Outside of his left foot, he kicks it on the inside of his foot. He's, he's brilliant. doesn't miss a target. He's, he's one of the best kicks in the comp. Oh, absolutely amazing. And uh, Dipper, in, in your days, what do you what would you have done to these sorts of guys running around? Well, in your days. <laughs> <laughs> he would have chased them. Uh, after Doug, he reckoned I was a thug. Dipper would have done something, but he wouldn't be playing for another 20 no, weeks. No, after <laughs> one thing I know, we wouldn't have caught one of these Port Adelaide boys because they are fast. They like, yeah. keep moving. They're an exciting team. What are you doing? Like... Stay still, champ, you know? Yeah. Duck, let's talk about Jay Schultz because a couple of years ago, he got the flick from Richmond. He went over to Port Adelaide. He's reinvented himself. Is he possibly the most dangerous forward in the competition at the moment? Oh look, he's he's a very good forward in a very good uh, in a very good team, and there, as as we just said, Polak. I mean, these guys, their their ball use is right up there with the Hawks. I think they're probably just behind the Hawks, but it's they use it very us. well. I mean, it's three guys and in the thing about Schultz is, if he gets ten shots, he's kicking eight goals. I mean, that's he's just a beautiful kick of the footy. I would say that he's the best set shot in the league at the moment. Why is he not, why is he not kicking ten goals? Why? Because he's not getting it ten times within goal kicking range. No, but if range. he gets it ten times, he might. But if he gets goals. it ten times, of course. He probably but will. I, I think with those small forwards, Dipper, this yeah. is the beauty. Phil? Like Hawthorne, they have various Charlie, options, Charlie. and and they're using those guys. Good point. Yeah. Duck talking about Port Adelaide. There's a young guy called Butcher. Yep. Like he yep. gets, gets the ball a lot. What do you reckon's wrong with his kicking? Well, a lot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it butchers it. <laughs> but it isn't, isn't, it amazing, isn't it amazing if you took, if you took Butcher's tenacity and put it in Tyrone Vickery, oh, yeah. you'd have a really, good foot, a really, really good footballer. And if you took Tyrone's Vickery and, and gave it to Butcher and made him a better kick, yeah. I mean, you'd have a really complete footballer. I mean, he's not a great kick, but you know what? In that side, with that class... What they want is they want, a, they want a competitor. They want a guy that brings a ball to the ground, and that's exactly what he does. But was it you or Jimmy with the two hands? 
But, uh, well, well, you're kicking. Kick I, I only got yeah. the ball. I was too scared of you, mate. Run yeah. away. <laughs> no, but you, you were two hand boy, weren't yeah. you? Yes, mate. Yeah. Yes. I, I yes. wanted to ask you about Port Adelaide because Carlisle's back. He's a key position backman. Yeah. Harlot's back. He's another champion on baller for him. Two great acquisitions for him. Well, they are. And uh, like any football side now, once one guy goes in, another player moves in. They know their roles. But this side does not stop running. And, um, yeah, they're top two. No doubt about They've it. They've got a bit of depth well, this year than they have previous, they have. haven't they? What about Lockie Neal last weekend, Dip? He wasn't he mm. fantastic? And he's getting a bit of a run through the midfield as well. But he was a good player last week. Well, Step all up. these young players are starting to get a run now because it's going to be a long season and they've got to find out who's going to stand up in the, on the big day in the big ground, and he's starting to get some time too. We're going to talk at all about a side that played in the grand final last year. For yeah, him. I was just. <laughs> <laughs> they actually, they actually go not too bad either. This uh, side called Fremantle, they yep. have been a little bit inconsistent this year, but I think that uh, they will, they will want to test themselves um, against a side that I think everyone's saying have, have now arrived as a football team. So this is a massive test for, for Port Adelaide because Fremantle, as I said, been inconsistent, but they'll be up for this one. The thing I notice about Fremantle is that they're a very physical side. They're very big bodied. And Ross yeah. Lyon, that looks like to be a trade of his. Any side that, you, that Ross Lyon coaches, they're physically big. I'm not sure about they've got the, the leg speed, but the physical Except physicality. Zach, Zach Dawson. Yeah. Mm. But uh, <laughs> <coughs> Robbie, Gray, Robbie Gray, he's come back this year, uh, and he's been a fantastic pickup or well, acquisition, Gilbert, as you say, yeah. for the side this year. Yeah, no, he's been terrific. and... Like I said before, their depth, the Port Adelaide's depth, they're starting to become very strong, a bit like the Geelongs, the Hawthorns and the Dockers. So. All right, let's get our selection, Duck. Mm. Port Adelaide or Fremantle? Uh, a couple of massive outs. Did you read those outs, Billy? Yeah. Yes, well, did. McFarlane and Dawson yeah, are big outs. I think mm. against Port Adelaide at home, I think Port Adelaide will be too good. Yeah. After you just said we're going to talk about last year's grand finals. Well, you didn't just give them any <laughs> airplay, that's all. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Phil? Yeah, no, I'm with the duck. Uh, Port Adelaide would be a little bit too good. Love it. Port Adelaide. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly? Fremantle? Yeah, I'm going for the Dockers to win this. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I like when you look, they, you look serious. No, but they've got a good record against Port Adelaide, I'll tell yeah. you. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to go for uh, Port Adelaide too. Yeah. Okay.